Hello everyone, and welcome to a game called Making a Monster. Making a Monster is a short visual novel made for a visual novel jam of a thousand words or less, I think. The hiatus was long, and my magic incredibly rusty, but I think I did it. The plan is simple. I didn't want to keep burdening my partner with training my magic, so I made a mud doll. The doll will do what I want, and all that's needed are some sticks, stones, mud, a magic circle, and some magic. So I cast some magic into the magic circle containing the pile of mush that was to become my new sparring partner. Abracadabra. Studies tell me that it'll take several days of growing into a, in the circle, but it looks good so far. Mm. Well. Um. I think I hope as far as Muck could look, look two seconds after starting a project at least. Then again, I don't know oh, what other people's dolls look like uh, since. Uh, I want to see how I do first, then study later how I can do better. That way, I can have a good reference point to work on. Gotta think positive here. It's fine. It'll be fine, I repeat to myself. Good magic takes time, so as long as I put in time. After all, what's a witch who doesn't make magic? Yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. We're having some doubts, I see. That's why you have to keep reassuring yourself. Why call yourself a witch when you stop practicing magic? Your magical skills were awful then, and they still are. There's no way anyone would hire you. You lost your talent long ago, so why even try? Bruh, shut up. Shut up, negative thoughts. Magic inherits your emotions, but it can't directly alter happiness or doubt. But using it more will make help me become more confident. I just gotta tough it out, the loud doubts, becoming a witch, and... Getting a good job, doing what I love to do, simple enough. You don't deserve a good job. You're so mediocre. So you won't be able to get any one anyways. Bruh, I'm literally summoning something right now. And I would like it if you would back up. I glance at the doll, which now looks more familiar. The doubts are getting louder each day I work. But I tend to push them aside and pour more magic into the doll. You're so slow. You'll bring everyone down for your slowness and incompetence. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't make anything worthwhile. There are always people who create better magic than you. You'll never catch up to their skills. Um. We're all starting somewhere, and we're all working our way to a better, magical future. Uh, I should take a break. Fresh eyes and a meal would help. Now that I think about it, I should make a grocery run and make sure my partner has something to eat by the time they're home. It's not like I have a deadline for making this thing, so some distance from it will be good. Uh, Oh no, but the more I work on the doll, the louder the doubts came, which honestly, I'm used to since this happens every time I create magic, but this time, they seem nastier than before, and are now beyond criticizing my magical skills. I wish Simphus were home. When this happens, their words are a huge comfort for me, but they're still on their journey, and I don't want to hold them back. They be gone because you're such a burden to them with your stupid little worry. No, they're gone so they can earn money for us and help people in need. Who would want to stay with you? They are probably fine someone better, someone that doesn't siphon their money.
These are all lies. Besides, Synthus loves me. I know this for a fact. They gather materials for our medicine, and I make them so oh, we can be as genderless as we like. What? Mm. How do you make that? Mm. Hold on. Are you really genderless? You're not genderless enough, since you keep showing off your... <laughs> so why not cut them off? Or maybe you're a woman pretending to... Okay, actually... F you, I'm not a woman, and both my partner and I love my stuff. I've been working in silence for the past week, so it feels nice to hear my own voice, but the voice in front of me loudly and mockingly laughs. You cannot deny what is true, you useless imposture of a witch. It was then I realized the voices and doubts I I've been feeling weren't coming from my mind. They've been echoing right in front of me. A witch that cannot create prop magic properly is better off dead. And when you're gone, I'll suppress everything you ever were. Mm. I know my magic inherits emotions when cast, but have I been feel eating at my doubts this entire time? I cannot dwell on this now. It's coming closer. What do I do? Rework it. Water. Earth. Fire. I cast a water spell, melting it into a silent mush. Uh, well, might as well start over. I know I'll get better with each attempt, and if I don't, then I'll try again and again. After all, I'm always improving and learning like any witch. But I picked all the good ending. I picked all the good stuff. So why why did it turn out so bad? Uh, well, we're definitely going to pick all the bad stuff now. That's for sure. From the first choice. Let's restart it from the first choice. Mine would probably look bad in comparison. Self-doubt rises as I stare at the glowing mush. I shouldn't discourage myself this early. It's fine. It'll be fine. I can repeat myself. Good magic takes time, so as long as I put in the time. After all, that's what a witch does, is make magic. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. It'll be fine. Uh, just power through it and work as long as possible. I know I create fantastic magic when the doubts weren't this frequent and loud. I was fine then, so I'll be fine now. It's not like I need more food anyways. I'll power through and eat later. And maybe it'll help my figure. You ugly, fat freak. Ugh. Shut the front door, voice. But the more I work on the doll, the louder the doubts came. Which, honestly, yes, I'm used to. Yes. Besides, Symphys loves me. I know that for a fact. They gather material for medicine. Then I realize I've been echoing right in front of me. Well, what are you going to do? You're just a figment of my imagination. But I'm going to destroy it. I set it on fire as it noisily burns away. I stare at the bright glare containing in the magic circle. I watch until it finally fizzles into nothing in the dimming circle. I almost died. No wonder I stopped creating magic. And then we give up. We give up. She didn't say anything about reworking it. No, she didn't say that. She's like, well, no wonder why I can't do magic. I almost burned my whole house down. Making a monster. All right, that that was a short visual novel uh, about a witch battling self doubt and self hatred in their work. Um, it's really hard to do that when the thoughts are so loud they constantly eat away at you. Your brain is like always riding on these thoughts, like they're constantly there. And then that's that's what that's of course that's what your brain latches onto instead of the positives. Um, but you know what? You have to power through it and fi and figure out how to take care of yourself through that type of stuff. Um, all right, and thank you so much for watching. Now we'll see you in the next video.
Goodbye.